Hi, this is Weekly Reflections, and I'm Nancy Joy. A uh, quick little promo. Next Saturday, November 12th, is the Transforming Anger Back to Love retreat here in Iowa. So if you're interested, get a hold of me. We're going to talk about, I, I struggled with this topic. <laughs> We're going to talk about the dark side of the divine feminine that's being brought up by the uh, goings-ons of disclosure during this time of the U.S. election. And I got a call yesterday, I think it was, from my friend and colleague, Jalela Starr of the Nibiruan Council. Jalela had brought to earth, maybe many of you have heard from her, her site link is below, um, the Formula of Compassion, where we take everything that has hurt us and angered us. It's a very high vibration form of forgiveness. We bring it into understanding and compassion. Uh, at looking at why we created it and how we've grown, etc., until we've got it. The emotions have been real with them and returned it all to love. And she approached me. There's a lot of stuff coming out right now in the campaign that's um, pretty nefarious and pretty deeply emotionally triggering. I'm not going to start this right out by saying, I'm not saying what's true and what isn't true. I'm not here to uh, debunk a candidate or support a candidate. I think you all know my opinion on that. Um, if not, you can go back to a few reflections ago where I talked about the opportunity in this election emotionally without being attached to the outcome. So that's not where I'm going with this. I'm going that something is being played out before our eyes, and it's bringing up a lot of emotions for us to shift and change us and to heal ourselves and heal our planet. And a major one that is coming up, and some of you may have heard this and some of you may have not, some of you may be angry about this, but our, uh, I'm not talking about the Hillary indictments from the FBI and, uh, and that that might be reopened or anything like that. I'm talking about some really deep, dark stuff that has showed up on emails, uh, and it's been brought to the surface by the New York uh, Police Department, who was doing a uh, in-depth um, investigation on pedophilia and came up with some pretty horrific things involving Hillary and the Clinton Foundation and many others in Washington, D.C., certainly not her alone. So not here to say they're true or not true or anything like that. I'm here to talk about the metaphor of what this is all about emotionally for us. The, on this earth, we are healing the earth, healing ourselves, and creating a template of love to step into and live the new frequencies of freedom. So all this is just something that's playing out. So November 8th, Tuesday, is election day for us here in the U.S. Um, additionally, Friday is the 1111, which is uh, the Lion's Gate, and that's known for, for being a doorway of transformation, moving through that out of something into something new. So it's a very powerful time. And then on the following Monday, next week's Reflections, November 14th, you have the super full moon in Taurus. And this full moon is very special. They call it super full moons when they're close to the Earth. And this full moon is the closest to the Earth any full moon has been since 1948, or any full moon will be again until, I believe it's 2034. Anyhow, it's a 70-year uh, expansion. So moons and motions, right? They don't call it a lunar for anything. <laughs> a lunatic, right? Drives our emotions. And it's water, and of course water is emotion. So we have some powerful uh, uh Indivi for us individually, I will say this, what I've gotten in, in meditation and with Ezekiel about the twists and turns coming up for us, you, it's going to be like one of those things you're headed somewhere and whoosh, angle you go somewhere else and whoosh, angle you go somewhere. Whatever you think is happening isn't the truth of the whole matter. And eventually uh, you get off of the ride into a new reality. So just be prepared for all the shift and changes, okay? Um, so... Where I'm going with this stuff that's come up um, in, the, for, in the Clinton stuff uh, is that, and, and I know there's stuff about Trump too, I'm not favoring, trust me. But what's important here is that Hillary has represented to our planet and to us, and especially to women, 
the opportunity for a woman to become president of the United States and also um, someone we would look up to, someone we would honor. And so she is a representation of the divine feminine. And the divine feminine metaphorically is the mother energy, okay? It's the mother. So Hillary represents that to us all. And now as more and more and more stuff is revealed, whether you believe it or not, it can't help but strike you emotionally. It's like the mother's betrayal. Someone that we're her children. Metaphorically, we are her children. So there's a lot going on here because the mother aspect of humanity has seemingly, or emotionally anyway, betrayed her children is what's going on metaphorically. And instead of getting all caught up in the who's who said what's and who, who did what's here, um, let's go right to, I'm going to bring this up all the way. Okay. We know it's the dark that pushes the light back into us. And this is the dark feminine that's being vibrated in our fields right now through all this that's coming out. Uh, and just like in Standing Rock, there with the pipeline and the oil, um, the dark, nefarious, and very unconstitutional way that they are, the, the energy is, dark male energy is pushing this pipeline through the Native American lands and, 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 and uh, putting all our waters in danger. But what that darkness has done is it has pushed all the various tribes in America that have never all gotten along and agreed together to work together to create love. And I hear there's a tremendous field of love going on there. That would not have happened. Most likely it would need the dark to push you into it. The dark pushes the light back into us. Look at it this way. If you bring a light into a dark room, it gets lighter. If you bring more lights in, it gets lighter and lighter. If you're in a light room, and you bring a, a black hole into the, the room, let's not say a black hole from space, but a, a darkness, it, it gets turned to light, right? So that's what's going on. And um, you can take this as many ways as you want to, but instead of getting caught up in it, um, we're moving into compassion with this now. Uh, because where it takes us is into ourselves. Whether you're a male or female, you are the mother of your inner child. And just think how many times, I mean, really think about this, how many times you've betrayed your own inner child because of many reasons, but fear is one, because you want to keep the peace. You don't want someone to get angry at you. It's so much easier to be complacent than to stand up for the truth. But wherever there's been an injustice on your inner child, um, and you have stepped back, even using some of the spiritual um, things that we abide by, like, you know, uh, hold a space of love, keep the peace, you know, peaceful demonstrations. But every time you stand back and you don't have the courage to stand up and protect that little child, you have betrayed that little child. So wherever you are with this whole child sex ring pedophilia stuff, it is about the children. It is about protecting injustice and protecting the children. So it brings up uh, the dark side of the divine feminine. So here we are, 1111 portal. What a better time to heal this. So I invite you all. Jalila and I are having a call on Wednesday, November 9th, that's the day after the election, uh, to bring the dark feminine, in this case we're going to represent it as Hillary, um, back into love and compassion and set that template uh, for the planet. So as more and more things get revealed, people don't get rebellious and start a war and want to argue with one another, but they take it inside to find what it is inside of them to move their own feelings of emotion and emotions. So we'd love for you to join us. I'll have the number right below here uh, on YouTube. And uh, of course, it's on my reflections for those of you who get my uh, weekly email. If you don't get it, please sign up on my website. 
heartlights.net to get it because there's always all the links and all the information on there that's uh, really helpful. So again, this call is being called Release into Compassion, Divine Feminine Dark Side, and then in parentheses, Hillary Clinton and all that that represents for us. So uh, I'm, I hope a lot of you will be on the call. I expect a, <laughs> I expect a lot of uh, feedback on this particular reflections, but um, Tuesday's the big day here. It doesn't matter really how it unfolds, but pay attention to your emotions. Pay attention to what you're experiencing because that's where you can have the greatest effect. Have a great week, and it'll be very interesting next Monday on the full moon when we talk again. Take care of who you are, and we'll see you on the 14th.